Wednesday, January the 11th. Lake level's right at 9.07. It's dropped a few inches since last week. Uh, water temperature, I was out uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, and it's cooled down a little bit, about 47 degrees. I fished around the Kimberling City area. I'm sure it's colder up in the river arms. Uh, lake level's probably going to change. We got about four or five days of rain forecasted, I think starting about Friday. So we got a uh, winter weather advisory. It might be freezing rain, could be snow, could whatever it is. We're probably going to get a bunch of moisture out of it. Lake level will probably come up some. Before I get into too much of the fishing report, I told you I'd have some more information about the deal going on at Sportsman Factory Outlet. It's on uh, January the 19th, 20th, and the 21st. They're going to have uh, a lot of local anglers there. Uh, Bassmaster Classic winner Dion Hibden, he's also won the FLW Championship. It's uh, only one or two people have ever done that, but Dion is going to be there. I've got a list of the events. If you go to my site on Table Rock Lake Fishing, you'll see this flyer, and it'll tell you who's there what days. But as far as, you know, James Watson is going to be there, FLW Pro, Casey Scanlon, uh, Bobby Albert, Brent Aljo, local anglers, and myself are going to be there. Another FLW uh, Pro is going to be there, Greg Bohannon, super guy. And you're going to have a couple uh, crappie gurus too. Uh, Terry Blankenship and Rick Flint are going to be there. So check out the days that they're going to be there. They're not really going to be doing seminars. They're going to be in the store. Uh, it's got the times on there. But, you know, for the most part, five, six hours throughout the day. And it's going to be a neat deal because you can have one-on-one -on -one conversations with them. And even the pros like, you know, Dion and Watson, I mean, they grew up fishing here, like Marcus Sikora will be here from Lake of the Ozarks, and Marcus, I mean, he catches them whatever lake he goes to, so it's going to be a great time to pick these guys' brains, get some information. They're going to have a bunch of sales going on, uh, all kinds of different products, you know, too much to list, but I know Pro Guide Batteries is having a special for three days on all their batteries there, and not only do they have probably the best uh, AGM battery on the market, but if you don't need that big or high end of a battery, they've got them, you know, all the way down to batteries that are going to your camera or whatever. But they've got the smaller batteries for the smaller boats, the more inexpensive ones if you don't want the big ones. And sales that they're going to have on them are going to be hard to beat. So if you get a chance, you need to get out there at Sportsman Factory Outlet. I'll have a little bit more information on it next Wednesday because it will start, I think, on that uh, Thursday after my next fishing report. But as far as the fishing report, you know, I've been out a few days. The uh, jerkbait bite seems to be getting a little better. Uh, I was still catching some fish deep on grubs and ice fishing jig, which, uh, you know, I think we went out the other day, we had uh, five keepers, six keepers deep, and then we had five shallow on a jerkbait. My personal deal is I just seem to throw a jerkbait because I feel like I got a, a chance of catching a better quality fish. But a lot of the deep fish were still out in the centers of the creeks over the deeper timber. And a lot of times when you're fishing in deep creeks, what you want to look for, that sounds kind of funny, but it's a flat in the in the back of the creek. It's not like a gravel flat we fish on the main lake. But if you go down in them deep creeks, you know, go all the way back to about 35 feet and start working your way out. And if you find where the creek kind of flattens out, instead of just the 45 degree slopes coming down to like a point on the bottom. If you can find the areas where it flattens out, sometimes there's timber there, sometimes there's not. But if you find those areas from 35 to as deep as 60 foot, that's where a lot of them fish are starting to pile up right now, holding real close to the bottom. Uh, like I said, a lot of them that I've been catching out of the trees seem to have moved and I've relocated them in those flatter areas in the center of the pockets. But as far as the jerk bait, I've been throwing, you know, quite a few different jerk baits. I was out the uh, day before yesterday with my buddy Chris, and he was kind of, it had kind of clouded up. I was throwing, normally when it's sunny out, I like a bait that's got a lot of flash to it. I was throwing this mega bass here, got a little purple on the back. I wasn't getting bit on it, and it kind of clouded up, and Chris had this uh, spro tied on. I don't know exact name of the color 
but it's got kind of a, a darker green back. And he caught, I think when he caught his fourth one, then I finally tied on one that was similar to it. And I think my second cast after I changed baits, I started catching fish. So, I mean, a lot of times it really makes a difference in the color. Sometimes we get stuck on throwing a favorite, you know, favorite bait. But as when the sky changes from light to dark, sometimes you got to mix it up a little bit. And both of them are working good for me. I'm actually throwing some Smithwick Rogue, some too. A lot of the fish seem to be in the creeks on secondary points. And they still seem to be relating more to rock transitions than they are suspended out over the timber. You know, I'm still looking for uh, ledgier rock banks where it transitions into smaller gravel. If you're going back into a creek and you can follow the, the creek channel, uh, places like where the creek channel either swings into the bank or swings out of the bank seem to be good areas. If there's a little cut in the creek, it may not be much bigger than the boat, but normally whenever you see them little cuts, there's like a ditch there. And they've been in some of those ditches too, just out in front of the little guts. But like I say, I don't know what you know what's going to happen this week with the rain and everything that's going to come in. Hopefully we don't get too much and get uh, a lot of muddy water into the lake. Because right now, a lot of the water is extremely clear, which really helps on the jerk bait. Still a little bit of a crankbait bite going on. You know, water temperatures in the, about 47, 48 on the main lake. So you just got to slow the bait down a little bit. Still catch some on that. Still catching a mixture of smallmouth, Kentuckys, and largemouths on the jerkbait. Most of the fish out deep have been uh, spotted bass with a few occasional largemouths. So if you get a chance, check it. Just go to Table Rock Lake Fishing. And that flyer for Sportsman Factor Outlet will be on there. That's really going to be a neat event. Like I said, all kinds of different sales on product. And to be able to hang out and talk to these guys one-on-one -on -one as far as, uh, you know, different techniques, different baits to throw, it should be real fun. So until next week, good luck, good fishing.